of course even after all these discussions i didn't do anything i was so much afraid i was so afraid of uh, singing and getting in the ministry when i hear people sing mm. and you know the way they finish like ah, i'm telling god you hear did you hear that <laughs> <laughs> i can't do that and you're giving me this song give mm-hmm. it to there are better be- musicians out there mm. I'm telling you he did not let me go. <laughs> yeah. For several uh, Sundays I literally would run away from him. You know God remained he's so faithful. Yes, he oh, is. God is so faithful and patient. Yeah. yeah? Mhm. Mm? If it was somebody else angekuwa amechoka na mimi. Welcome once again to the Conquerors show right here on Wema TV. I'm your host Laura Lepore and today we have a beautiful woman of God who has conquered fear in her own way. I'm telling you she is one to resonate with because so many people go through this and we just want to hear her testimony about how she overcame fear by the special grace of God. Please help me welcome this beautiful woman. She is a mother of four. She is a recording artist and a businesswoman all in one package the one and only Jane Mukami please how are you Jane hi i'm very well and blessed you're so welcome to the show thank you so much thank we are you, so Lord. blessed to have you here on the conquerors show thank you and uh, speaking to you i can really relate you know mm. the first time we spoke you said you're a trouser person and i'm like <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I found my mate. <laughs> yes, yes, finally. <laughs> so you're so welcome to the show Thank and you. it's a blessing to have you. Yes. To hear your testimony as well. Thank you. I'd like to just jump right into that. Yes. And tell us uh, if you could begin with who are you? Who is Jane Mukami? Where are you coming from? Yes. And whatnot. Um praise the Lord viewers. Amen. I'm Jane Mukami. Faith. I'm married to one man. Andrew Matu so I'm Jane Matu also okay um born again Jesus is lord amen i love jesus he is my father mm-hmm. he's my friend mm-hmm. i love the way he calls us his friend yes yes i'm also a mother i'm a mother to four kids four yes mm-hmm. i'm blessed with four beautiful kids mm-hmm. two boys two girls wow and um the first born is 18 years 18 yes wow <laughs> the youngest is 4 uh, turning 5 mm-hmm. yeah and i'm also a business person i'm a recording artist like you said mm-hmm. yes like and you i'm are. a conqueror amen yes hallelujah <laughs> yes wow that's be- wow mm. four children yes four children that's i'm blessed one. amen you really are <laughs> yeah goodness mm. so uh tell us how you uh you since you're a recording artist yes, and today yes. i'm sure you'll come back on the show yes and I tell will, us a lot sure. about mm. more about you yes yes so today we just want to focus on how you began your your artistry how you began which, which form of art is it and yes. uh where you come you came from so that you can start uh, becoming a recording artist yeah so growing up eh, mm-hmm. um i grew up in a christian family mm-hmm. and i will uh, of course like any other christian kids or any other christian family my parents uh, will take us to church mm-hmm. to sunday school mm-hmm. like uh, other kids and um i used to sing in sunday school in school when i was in school I, i used to love singing a lot in fact in primary school i was a soloist at Ooh, some point okay yes, in primary school but also back at home mm. we we love we love singing even now uh, my dad is late but my mom is still there my mom loves singing mm. i remember at some point even my 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 hubby asked me you know so many uh, songs eh? where did you learn all these songs from mm-hmm. i was like my mom sings this song may they she loves singing you know mm. at home she would sing and i that's where i started slowly singing and also 
I remember um, when growing up, my dad would call me, would call me, you would just find him singing, and he used to call me and tell me, come, Mom, come, let's sing, wow. you know. And I used to love singing, mm -hmm. you know. I've always just loved singing and music in general, mm -hmm. yeah. So in my teenage years, I, of course, I diverted a little bit mm -hmm. from uh, church, but I used to go to church, but I still, no, of course, not, not, not singing in the choir or the, and all that, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, we continued, and when I grew up, I got married, I got born again. Wow. Yes, I got born again. Amen. And uh, slowly my interest still came back. Because that is how, mm -hmm. by singing and praising, that is how I feel closer to my God. So mm -hmm. I love worshipping. I love praising. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how I worship my God. Amen. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you've been singing all this time. All this time. But uh, when did you uh, become, a, like, a, take that step towards being an artist now, like get your own songs and whatnot? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was surprising because um, my songs naturally, my song, uh, how I get my songs, mm -hmm. I get my songs through dreams. Dreams? Yes, through dream. you know, while I'm asleep mm -hmm. and God will give me a song. So I will wake up singing. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, my song, I Will Live, the one now on YouTube. Oh, yes. It's actually my first song, but technically it's my third song. You told me that <laughs> off camera, and I, the mathematics of it all <laughs> really confused me. Please specify what yeah. you mean. So, um, when I got born again, mm -hmm. I got born again in um, 2010. Yeah? Yeah. And um, a year after, in 2011, God gave me my first song. Through a dream. Through a dream. Wow. You know, I will sing this song in dream. You know, it was a new song. You mm -hmm. see, like David says that I sing throughout the night. Mm -hmm. to, I sing to you throughout the night. I will sing throughout the night a new song. Then I realized that song, I don't know that song of uh, my dream. As in, I know it through my dreams. Yeah. In my dreams, I know it. Mm -hmm. It's a familiar song. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard anybody about it because I was very young in my salvation mm -hmm. and I didn't know about that mm -hmm. so one day I decided and I realized oh that's a song God is giving me so I decided to to make sure that I the next time I told myself the next time I, I sing that song mm -hmm. I'll try and bring it out okay yeah and record it on my phone mm -hmm. yeah please note it's at night eh? yeah so I struggled with it. It wasn't easy bringing it out from the spiritual to now this world. Mm -hmm. But I did. I managed and I, rec I, I, I recorded myself. Mm -hmm. That time I recorded myself. And um, after that, I didn't know what to do with the song. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I was too young in my salvation. I had fear. I didn't know. I was afraid to be out there. I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I kept my song and I spoke to my hubby about it and he told me, that's a nice song. It sounds like a chorus. Mm -hmm. I told him, yeah. So he was like, I think you need to build around it. I told him, yes, I know. And uh, he was like, okay, you do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. That is the, now this is the 10th year. That's 10 years ago. And then I remember I also spoke to my mom-in-law, um, my mother-in-law who is uh, late right now. She's late, but she told me the same thing. Mm -hmm. She told me, I know you love singing because I really love singing. You, I can't just hide it. Mm -hmm. When I'm alone, I'm singing. When I'm in the house, I'm singing, you know. Yeah. I enjoy singing. So she told me, I know you love singing and um, this, I think, is your gift. Wow. So what you have to do, well, uh, just build around it. She also said the same. I think it's a chorus. I told her, I think so too. And um, of course, even after all these discussions, I didn't do anything. I was so much afraid. Mm. I don't know what I was afraid of, but I was so afraid of uh, 
singing and getting in the ministry and everything. Okay. So I kept the song. So my song stayed on my phone for like five years. And after that, I gave away my phone to a close relative. So you gave away your song? Yes, I gave away my phone and the song. But I, uh, the warning that I gave, uh, you just use the phone, mm -hmm. but no, there's my song uh, uh, in there. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, fine. Of course, after all this long, uh, that's how my song disappeared. Because oh, no. uh, the, the, the person I gave the phone to mm -hmm. also gave it to somebody else. And I don't know, I, it got lost, somebody you know it, mm -hmm. it got lost in the way and that's how my song disappeared my first song because oh, yeah. i didn't take any step mm -hmm. yeah down the line um t last year um last year i was talking to my hubby jokingly and i was telling him, you know i'm thinking people are using you remember when corona came everybody was uh, People were writing books, people were using their talents yes. now. Mm -hmm. And I was telling my hubby, you know God had given me a song. Mm -hmm. I think that's my talent. Eh? Wow. And um, mine is not cooking like yours because he's a chef. Okay. And uh, I, I, I was telling him, I think if God gives me a song today, mm -hmm. I will sing. Wow. And I forgot God is God. <laughs> that night. That same night. That night. My husband is my only witness. <laughs> that night, mm -hmm. the song, I Will Live, came. Yeah? Wow. But I forgot. Let me take you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Before that, I think that's why I brought up the, the, the topic mm -hmm. of uh, God give me, giving me a song. There was another song that I was given. Mm -hmm. That one, I was not able to bring it out. Okay. Yeah? So I could sing at night, but I was not able to bring it out. Mm -hmm. So that one disappeared like that. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then I Will Live came mm -hmm. that night because I jokingly said that uh, if God gives me a song, I will sing. Yeah, the confession mm -hmm. of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I knew now this one is not to joke with. Yeah. Because yes. um, I'm the one who said it and God has done that. Yes. He has given me the desire of my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it came last year in August. <laughs> Just the other day. <laughs> last wow. year, yes. Mm. But um, please note, I recorded it in March this year. Okay. Yeah? Mm. So that, there was that period. Mm -hmm. It's oh. better than 10 years. Yes, it's, <laughs> but yes, but yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's better than 10 years. Yes. 10 years is a long it time. Is, yeah. 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 So when, um, when, when I got this one last year, I decided, first of all, I, I had not made up my mind to sing still, but mm -hmm. I knew mm. I have to sing. Okay. Because I'm the one who requested and God granted. Yes. I fought with that song. I have, I've fought with that. Why? I have no idea. And then somehow, you know God's way. Mm -hmm. Our our bishop, I, I fellowship at Deliverance Church. Okay. So I'm at Majestic City. Mm -hmm. That's where Bishop Mark is. Okay. Our bishop for Deliverance Church. Mm -hmm. Somehow he kept on preaching about fear, conquering your fear, and he. Go, you know, have you ever had God speaking to you directly? Yes. And I'm like, oh my. And just the way the Bible says that faith comes through hearing and, and hearing, hearing the and word hearing God. the word of God. So, but me hearing and hearing, I, I started encouraging myself and, uh, you know, talking to myself, I can do this, mm -hmm. yeah. I can conquer this. Of course, I'm a conqueror. I can do this. Yes. I will sit even after speaking to myself and, you know, giving myself all this sermon, mm -hmm. after preaching in church, going to, I will do nothing, you know, even taking the first step. And please note, as we were discussing with my hubby, when God gave me that song, when I was telling him, now I can sing, it's because I'd met a, a, a brother we fellowship with. Mm -hmm. He's... Um, he's uh, we call him Bernard Maina, he's in King Bees. Oh, okay. You know, you know him. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I knew this one will do so I was telling my hubby, now that I've met Bernard, ah, he can walk with me. Yeah. He can show me. I now I can sing because now I know the way. Mm -hmm. I was not singing, of course, excuses. 
I was telling him the others I did not see because I didn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. And now I know where to mm -hmm. start. Wow. Oh, wow. So the song came mm. and now the battle began because now I know I know where to start. Like I said, I know where to start mm -hmm. and um, it was supposed to be easy now. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't. Mm. I was sitting and thinking about uh, my voice. Fighting with my own self, you know, the, 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 the voices in me were like, ah, you can sing better like than uh, Kina Flani, mm -hmm. you know. And at some point I even told God, you know, God, mm, when I was alone and I was praying, you know, talking to God, he's our friend. Yes. And uh, I was telling God, God, why don't you give this song to me? I would mention names. Seriously? If, yes, I would. It was that bad. Wow. As if God doesn't know these people are musicians, yeah? Mm -hmm. I will mention names and tell God, why don't you give it to so-and-so, uh, so and so, give it to so-and-so, you know, can you hear the, their voice? Eh? When I hear, uh, because I love listening to music, when I hear people sing, mm -hmm. and you know, the way they finish, like, ah, I'm telling God, you hear, did you hear that? <laughs> It's so <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. I can't do that and you're giving me this song. Give mm -hmm. it to there are better be musicians out there. Mm -hmm. And you know, God remind he's so faithful. Yes, he oh, is. God is so faithful and patient. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it was somebody else, and mm -hmm. But our our God is so faithful and he's so patient with us. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even in it's true in our weakness, he comes out strongly. Yes. Yes. His word, it, during this whole period of um, the making of this song, mm. his word has come out so strongly, mm -hmm. you know, and so true, mm. yeah? yeah? And it has really built my faith. Amen. So I told God, it is giving you glory alone, yeah? yeah. If this is what I had to go through mm -hmm. for my faith to be built up again and again, mm -hmm. eh? I, I thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah? Mm. So continuing from where I stopped, I would remind God, uh, this one can sing better than me. This, uh, you know, just just give them. Mm -hmm. And God, and God in His faithfulness, eh? you know, <laughs> He 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 mentioned. God told me because mm -hmm. this I had very clearly. Mm -hmm. I used Moses. He reminded me of Moses. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I sat nicely because God reminded me of Moses, and He was like Moses was a stammerer. Mm -hmm. He had a brother. Yes. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. was fluent in speech. Mm -hmm. But I used Moses. Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. And he you know, God really encouraged me mm -hmm. because he told me I I don't use the perfect. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well I use the perfect. I also use the ones that feel you're not perfect, you know. Because yeah. I wasn't feeling I still don't but I, I know God sees the heart. He knows why he's using me. Mm -hmm. So he, when when he told me that and I started thinking of Moses, he was a stammerer. He did great things in Israel. God used him to do great things in Israel. Mm -hmm. So I told God, oh yes, I surrender. Wow. And I told God, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for even, you know, even taking you through this, even asking. You know, God knows that these ones can sing better, yes. but he chose me. You. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I felt I am chosen. Yes. Yeah, and I told God, thank you for choosing me. Amen. Yeah, in maybe in my weakness or whatever, you chose me. You have mm -hmm. chosen me. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back and you know really repent and tell <laughs> God I am so sorry, mm -hmm. and now I surrender. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it didn't stop there. Still, I delayed. Okay. Yeah, that was not uh, after the conversation. <laughs> I still delayed, but I pushed myself because it was a push. Mm -hmm. This one, it was a push. I pushed myself, and um, I, I, in November last year, mm -hmm. I mentioned to Bena. I told him I want to see you. So he was like, um, you can see me. I told him no, don't worry. I'll see you after church because mm -hmm. we fellowship together. Mm -hmm. So he. We met and I mentioned, but I was in a hurry, of course. Yeah, I had to make sure I'm in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So I told him, um, I'll, I'll see you. I have a song. But already I'd mentioned, so that is mentioning. Okay. I told him, I think I have a song. 
and I will need you to hold my hand and walk with me. Wow. So he told me, oh, that's so great. I will see you. I told him, yeah, I'm in a hurry right now, but I will, I will see you. That was, according to me, another mistake. <laughs> that's what I felt at that time. So he never, you know, from that time onwards, I'm telling you, he did not let me go. <laughs> yeah? He says, when are we singing? I'm like, what? We have not, no, when are we singing? We need to do this. We need to begin. Oh, okay, I'm thinking, um, I need time. He's like, you don't have time. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, why did I mention to him? So after that, mm -hmm. for, for several uh, Sundays, I literally would run away from him. Wow. Yes. Mm. I will see him coming from this side and hide, even inside the car. I will go inside the car and hide. A pite kwanza. Because uh -uh. now I'm feeling he's giving me so much pressure. I don't feel I'm ready. Mm. And he pushed. He's a very good pusher, by the way. Yeah. I always thank him. I always <laughs> <laughs> Ben, I thank you so much. It's now that I always tell him thank you, yeah. you know, for that. Because it's something that I needed to do. You really needed But that. I needed that, mm. which is so wrong. How wrong is that? Yeah? Wow. I don't know. It, it was just strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he was like, what are you afraid of? I can't explain. I don't know why I'm afraid, but uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> So we we continued. I continued hiding from him, <laughs> and now we we our church um, we we opened another branch in Maj the, the majestic cities in Kagundo Road. Okay, <clears throat> it's the one I was telling you about now. Mm. That's where I I fellowship, and he remained in the main one. Okay, uh, it's called HOB House of Bread. Okay, it's in town. Mm -hmm. So I felt as a relief because <laughs> I'm not seeing no him. more pressure. <laughs> He got my number. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so he started calling, mm -hmm. and and then I don't know. He came to Majestic City one day, and I was like, "Oh, he's here," because I know him. He's here, and he'll want us to discuss about this. Yeah. So what do I do? I hid in the car. I went oh, back, no. hid in the car, mm. and uh, another mistake. What I thought was a mistake, I mentioned to my husband. I told him, "I'm hiding from Benai." Pushing me about this song. Oh, really? Yeah. Out. <laughs> Get out. Go talk to him. It's about time. You need to do this. I'm like, what? He says, yes. Get out now. And he calls him. Wow. <laughs> so we were like, okay, fine. Okay, okay. We are doing this. Mm. So okay. when are we meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We discussed and he was like, yeah, I can see you in the course of the week. Um, then we discussed these things. Mm. Wow. I made sure it didn't happen that week still, but um, he pushed somehow. and he came and mm. somehow we met. Amen. And that is how we started the journey of I Will Live. Wow. Yes. And, and this I Will Live, I've seen it on YouTube. Yes, yes. And I've had it and I want to, s I want to ask you, because yes. it sounds deep, it's not just a surface kind no. of song. No. Like where did it come from or what, what uh, yes God gave it to you, yes, yes. but what really ministered to you in the song? Yes. I used to love the verse, I will live, I will not die. Mm -hmm. I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord mm -hmm. in this land of the living. It is a verse in Psalms 118, mm -hmm. 17. I love declaring uh, that word and mm -hmm. I love declaring the word of God mm -hmm. because I know the word of God is living and it is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amen. God is not a liar. Mm -hmm. He speaks and he follows his words to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm not a person who, people who know me closely, they know, you tell me anything negative, I will cancel it immediately. Wow. Yes, I will cancel it immediately. Utaki <laughs> jokes. Because <laughs> I've experienced the power of words. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I know just the, like the Bible says, your tongue has the power of life and, and death. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is very true. Mm -hmm. It is very, very true. Mm -hmm. So I think many of you out there can, who have experienced it can attest to this. Yes. So I don't, but the people who are around me know. When you tell me anything negative, at a jokes, at a jokes, I cancel it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, when that word, that, that uh, Bible verse came, 
it was it came i started the chorus is uh, you've you've listened to the song mm-hmm. the chorus is i will leave it's actually the a bible verse yeah. so when i was singing it i woke up at night singing that song mm-hmm. it was the second time i was singing it in the dream so i woke up actually because i was not heavy, uh, in a heavy uh, sleep so i woke up I remember my hubby was beside me. He was doing a Bible study. Mm. It was around six. So I, I woke up. I, I woke. I woke up and started telling. I told him, "Kindly record this." So I was started singing, and I'm telling him, "Record, record, record," mm. because I, I didn't want the words to. I, I knew the words, but I didn't want the the tune to disappear. Oh. Immediately I sang. I picked up. And I knew this is Psalms 118:17. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah, so I knew I was. It was a cor- It was a chorus, mm-hmm. but I knew also it was a Bible verse. Yes. Yeah. So that one came directly, like that. Wow. So mm. the only way was to build now the right. song around mm. it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Wow. This is this is amazing because you're talking about how you had fear. Yes, yes. And now you speaking, you're so bold, I can't no. even tell that there was once an ounce of fear in you. Yes, yes. And and you even know the the, the scripture from which your song came. Yes. You're yes. standing on the word. Yes. And it's just it's marvelous it is. seeing you here like someone thank who you. has overcome fear of what she didn't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thank God. I just give God the glory. Amen. Yeah. I Amen. give God the glory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this wow. one is not anything I can explain mm-hmm. on your own. It's true. Yeah. Wow. Well, mm. So, so uh, in the interest of time, yes. Uh, there's, th- there's some. You, you mentioned that uh, you're not stopping here. Yes, I'm not. You're not stopping here. Mm. This is only the beginning. Yes. Number three coming. Number one and one <laughs> three somehow. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, who, which artists maybe uh, do you emulate? Do you want to be like, or do you look up to mm. in the in the industry right now? Um, I have uh, so many. You, like I said, I love singing. Yes. So I have so many artists that I admire, mm-hmm. especially those who began in the spirit and they're still in the spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. and um, like. Um, it, uh, I will start with internationally. I love Don Moon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love his songs because uh, they are also scriptures. They are. You know, mm-hmm. they minister. They minister to me. They used to minister to me mm-hmm. when I was a bit younger. Cause um, this singing thing is, I think, in our family. Mm-hmm. My brother was a praise and worship leader. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we were a bit younger, that time me I wasn't born again, mm. but he was, mm. and so he had all these uh, cassettes. Cassettes. Yes. <laughs> Not CDs. The ones you want. <laughs> Those ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, baby. I know this generation is not for that. <laughs> Yeah, as we grew up in the Izoma cassette, okay. that's it, yeah. Mm. So he had all these cassettes for Don Moon mm. and Ron Kenoli. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 I used to love those, uh, the, the songs. Yeah. And I still love Don Moon till mm. now. Of course, there are other many who I love and mm-hmm. I admire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And now locally, locally, I, I love uh, Paul Moy. Oh, yeah. I love his songs. Mm. They minister to me. And there are many others, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yes, there's so many of them. Actually, I love our local songs. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's mm. really beautiful how God is using the mu- music industry yes, yes. to minister to so many. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. So as we finish off, uh, because the the fun has to come to an end at some mm. point. Yeah. But on camera, we continue <laughs> with this off camera. Yes. Um, do you have any words of inspiration or words of encouragement for young upcoming artists or people who are still where you used to be? Yeah. Like they want to be where you are now. Mm. Do you have any words that you could give them? Yeah. Of course, number one, conquer your fear. Conquer your fear. Because um, fear delays. You see, if I was not afraid, I would be far right now. And uh, if you know you are serving the Lord, just serve the Lord, because God is looking for people who will serve Him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. So when you have that desire, 
and when you have that talent you know you have that talent go out there take the first step you know take courage take the first step and you should know like uh, let me use the scripture that uh, encourages me is that whoever is in me is greater than that who is in the world because of that you encourage yourself in the lord mm. and know that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could think ask or even imagine so go out there know you are crowned with glory know that you are crowned with honor and serve your lord either in guinea will fall into place amen amen hey, beautiful yes so where can we find you mm. where can we find you are you on tiktok are you on <laughs> whatsapp where yes. can we find you kindly um i'm, I'm on um, i'm on facebook i'm on ig i'm on uh, youtube as well you can find me on youtube and uh, at jane mokami ig i'm jane mokami f Please note the F at the end. And on Facebook, I'm at Jane Mokami. Um, so you, that's where you can find me. You can find, you can, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, watch the song. As my prayer is this song, that is my prayer, that this song ministers to people, mm -hmm. gives hope, mm -hmm. encourages, mm -hmm. and most importantly, serve the purpose that we that one that god placed it in my heart because mm -hmm. he had something he had he has a reason why he gave me that song yes. you know mm -hmm. or he gives other artists song mm -hmm. yeah so my prayer is that it brings out and serves the purpose and ministers to his people mm -hmm. and encourages them mm -hmm. yeah because uh, when you listen to it it uh, it's an encouragement mm -hmm. yeah and hope to those who are hopeless at this moment. It has come at the time when um, people have this fear of, because there's corona, people have the fear you don't know about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. People are afraid when you hear your friend has died or your your, your relative or somebody you know, mm -hmm. and you're afraid you might be next. But the word of the Lord tells us we will live because God lives. Yes. We will live to see tomorrow. Amen. And we will live to declare his goodness mm -hmm. in this land of the living. Yes. Just by faith, because God works with faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. True. So have faith, declare, and know that you will live mm -hmm. to face tomorrow. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 A word of faith from faith. <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank and it's such me. a blessing to have you here. Mm. It's such a blessing to hear of where you've come from. Yes. You know, so, such things people don't talk about. Yeah. Because now you, you didn't know what you were fearing. Yes. And it stood in the way of your gift. Yes. It stood in the way of your ministry. Mm. But now we give all the glory unto God. Amen. Wow. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. It's such a joy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Amen. Yes. So that 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 was it. That is it with our very own Jane Mukami everyone. We are here to talk about conquering and that is exactly what she has done. We thank the Lord for all that he is doing in our lives and this is the place to be for your 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 encouragement for the testimonies of real people through real situations mm -hmm. on a real daily basis right here on The Conqueror's Show on Wema TV. See you next week. I'm your host, Laura Lepore, and we are so blessed to have you. Keep it Wema TV, the voice of hope.